All right, we're back. It's been a whirlwind of a day. It's been a, that was such an intro by me, and we're back. <laughs> we need to do better with our intros. We We've got to figure it out. Yeah, we got to do something cool, like with with uh, fireworks in the background. Oh yes, that would be amazing. Something really cool. We need to come up with a standard intro. Ah, <sighs> well, that's it. I've got it. We're good. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't even think straight. You can't think straight? No, I cannot. Okay, so what's new? Oh, thanks. I'm kidding. I appreciate that a whole lot. Kidding. I feel like I can sleep for two days. Two days, that's a little bit. Well, ridiculous. I mean, I would wake up to eat and go to the bathroom. Right. But I could stay in, well, not two days is a long time. But I could for a whole day. Like, that sounds so amazing to me, staying in bed for an entire day. Completely recovering. In my Let your body. Let me just say, in my bedroom, I couldn't lay in my bed all day. It's your body and your mind. Well, we got a good setup for an all day. Yeah, not man. leaving. All, all we need I mean, is a mini fridge. We need a mini fridge. We've got the couch. We've got the living room set up in our bedroom on one one side, and then we got our bed on the other. So right. We're we're good to go. We're good to go, man. Okay, so I have a question. I have to tell you what happened to me today. You have a question, and you have to tell me what happened. Well, it it, it, I, it kind of is a question. Like, what would you within do what happened yes, to you today? Yes. Okay. So I've been really addicted to um, Coke Zeros with, but like in a bottle. The time's running out on that, by the way. What do you mean? It's starting to get cool. I know. Back to hot coffee. Anyway, in the afternoon is getting a Coke Zero because I like to get it in a bottle and then get a cup of ice, especially if a place has styrofoam cups. Oh, yeah. Styrofoam's it. With ice. And pour. I don't know what it is, but it just hits different. It does. It's even better than a fountain Coke. It hits different. I'm telling you. Anyway, so I went to the Rebel, which I don't even know if there is n- another one of these in existence, but it's a gas station called the Rebel. Oh, they're all over the place. Are they really? In West Virginia. Yeah. Uh, rebel. With I've the never e's, seen. With the E is back. Where else have you seen a rebel? There are rebels all over the place. Wait, I said where else have you I've seen them? I've seen them on the road. You're lying. You've I never swear seen another. I I've seen another where? rebel. I can't pinpoint it. Because you've never seen another Yes, one. I did on the road. I've seen a, I've seen a rebel. I'm um, telling you. Okay, anyway. It's our local, like the nearest gas station trial. So I, after my workout, I'll go in there and get one, right? I guess I go in and there's like two people in front of me. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, it gets up to be my... T- there, okay, so the lady in front of me is paying, and this lady walks in from outside, and she's dressed real uppity-like. You know, she has that look about her. Right. And she walks like she's going to cut in front of us. Right. And she stands like she's going to wait for the girl in front of me to leave and then get in line. Right. And I was like, What? So I didn't say anything, but she started to approach. But little this lady behind me said something, but I had already had it. I boxed her out. I was boxing her out. Very good. I put my back to her, and I got and she and the t- lady. You gotta a couple, get physical. A couple of ladies behind me says, "Ma'am, what are you doing? The line's back here." And it was a long line. There was probably six six people in line, six people deep. That's pretty good Dang, for a gas that's th- yeah. For a rebel line, I've, right. I've been in about four deep, but six is crazy. Right. And the lady goes, I'm just paying for gas. And oh. She said, I don't care. The line's back there. You you can't skip line just because you're paying for gas. It's not how it works. Pay at the pump, biatch. She rolled her eyes at her. Well, then I move up to start paying. I'm just, And she's standing so close to me. It was uncomfortable. She was standing closer than like my kid would in line. And I'm like, this lady is really making me uncomfortable. Like personal space. Have you heard of it? So as soon as I get ready to pay, the card reader goes blank. Oh, it happened to me a couple of days ago. And I was like, card reader's blank. She's like, I just got to reset it. And then it wasn't resetting. And she, the lady, and I'm, <laughs> I'm not even lying. The lady that works there gets the microphone and she goes, oh my gosh. And she gets the microphone and she hits it like this. Like real loud, and it's real loud over the speakers. And nice. then, and then a lady in the back goes, "I'm coming." And I was like, "That's how you page people. You smack on a microphone instead of being like, hey, uh, Angel, could you come to the registers, please?'" So this. Do you lady, know Angel? No, but that was her name. Wow. Because when she came up, she was like Angel. She said her name anyway. Here's my problem. First of all, I have a problem with that lady that thinks she can just cut line because sure, she's paying right. for she's gas. Just paying for gas. That's she's not how it works. Give them money, cash, and go back to your car. That's not how it works. <laughs> anyway, um, 
so Angel goes to the other. So, so it's set up one side of registers and then the other side of the store is the other register. I've been the there. The whole other side. I know, but I'm trying to explain oh, for the for people, the people who that haven't. Oh, haven't been the there. The whole right. other side of the store is the right. She was like, I'm going to have to take you all on this other side because this one's going to be down for a while. They went out of order. They went, two ladies went in front of me. I was next. I was getting ready to pay. And these two ladies, and one of the ones that said something like, and this is the irony of it, the one that said, who do you think you are getting in front of the line? She was the first one over there. She was still three people back. And so I get behind. She's up there. She called her out. Well, wait. And so I, the next lady, and then there was me. I was like, how does that work? I don't understand how that works. And the lady in front of me or looked, turned around. She was, I was like, I don't know how this works. Like, I was just getting ready to pay. And so this, and that lady kind of gave me a look, and she paid and left. She was already out the door. And the lady in front of me was like, sorry. I was like, that's just not how it works. Like, Ugh. so I'm frustrated with her. And she just, like, kind of rolled her eyes at me, like, whatever, or, like, calm down. I'm like, no, you were behind me. When we transferred lines, we transfer as a unit. Everybody just transfers over. Here's the kicker. Wait, I'm not done. Here's the kicker. And this is where I was just like, forget it. When I got my stuff to go over to the other side to cash out, I forgot my Coke. I just had my cup of ice. Oh. Uh, so I looked at the lady behind me. I was like, I forgot my Coke over there. I'm going to go grab it real quick. And I came back and they had all scooted up. And everybody was looking at me like, what are you going to do? So I was going to have to go to the back of the line. I was like, forget it. And I just put my stuff down and left. Everybody looked at me. I was going to have to go six people deep when I was the next one in line because if I was the person. shouldn't have forgot your coat. No, if I was the person, I'm going to go get You can get back where you were. Right, but you're not dealing with civilized people. That's the problem I have with society is people should be like, I mean, who doesn't go, hey, we're all going to, we're not, we're not, we're not fourth graders. It's not a free for all. We're all adults, and they're shifting lines. That means we can all walk over to the next register, get in the order that we were in, right. and pay like adults. Right. Especially the bitch that yelled at the other bitch. For doing what she did. And then just, she did exactly that, what she did. That was the irony of the whole entire thing. But I am just so confused by that. That, like, they really thought, like... My mind says these people, the person who is next at least is next. They're still next. It's not anybody's fault that the register went down. Nobody had my back. Like I had my card out to pay that. I, it's not a game. It's not like everybody race the next register. Whoever gets there first. Right. No, it's and angel even said, I can help the next person in line over here. Well, everybody went over there. I was so, it was one of those things that went through me. Like yeah, I didn't it would, want to it would make, make a scene. It would make me mad too. But at the same time, it was really hard for me to like. I did say stuff, and the lady in front of me was not buying it. And I was like, "Listen, we should switch as a whole unit." I really wanted to go Larry David on him because he would have done something like that. Like, oh how, yeah. Like I should have just walked in front of him, but like I was next. Sorry. You should have should have walked up, and if they stood too close, you should have swiped their stuff out of their hand. You should have knocked it in the floor. Gosh, I don't know about all Gotta that. Gotta intimidate people. I don't need to be that violent at the rebel, but yes, you do to survive at the rebel. Have you seen the people in there? Oh, I have. Trust me. You have trust to. You have to be ready when you go in there. You got to be ready for combat. Well, you told me that you almost got picked up by a lady working at the rebel the other day. She wanted to come home with you or something. Um, a frequent rebel because it's close to our home. Right. So I went in there, my bubbly self. You know, happy, happy. Happy Hefe. I would, I would not def, I would not define you as bubbly. Happy Hefe. Happy, yes. But. I, I go in. What's happening? Good to see you guys. Go back to the cooler. Get some brewskis. What else did I get? I got some wine for you to hold you over. and Probably a slushy for Nate. Probably a slushy for Nate. So I get to the counter. She, she goes, well, hey, can I go home with you? Oh, And I go, me? Sure. <laughs> so that's cool with me. Um, but my wife, I mean, she might not. She's like, yeah, she might not like that. I'll just tell her. I'm just making sure you get home safe. Oh, wow. And I was like, whatever. I'm good with it. I just feel good that anybody, I don't care if you don't have your teeth in today. Wow. That you even act like you want to go home with me. Well, I mean. You know, I'm like, hey, there you go. You missed out. Put that in your pipe and smoke. You it. missed out on maybe a really good opportunity for you. No, I don't. I don't want anybody to come home with me. I just want them to want to come home with me. <laughs> no matter what they look like. No matter. I don't care if they're male, female, 
Um, a male has wanted to come home with you. Non-binary. What are they? Like, I don't know. Transsexual. I don't care what they are. If they give me a compliment and want to come home with me. Right. Compliments are nice. I'll be like, you're my homie, but I can't have you over okay. because... I just can't. That's what I try to tell you. Compliments from anyone are nice, but sometimes from strangers are better because they don't have to say it. You know what True. I mean? True. Um, because if I said, can I come home with you? That's just going to hit different. It is. I'm going to be like, you're coming home. Duh. Yeah. Um, people at the rebel are interesting though. Um, I, I, Brooke went in there when she was big and pregnant. Okay. She went mm-hmm. in there to get something. Same rebel. Cause there's only one. Um, there's more than one. Mm, I'm going to look that up. Anyway, and she had, Brooke has long nails. And the lady had the nerve to tell her, to ask her, first of all, how old she was, which is rude. And second of all, had the nerve to tell her, how are you going to take care of that baby with them nails? It's a legitimate question. No, it's not a legitimate question. It's a legitimate question for a parent or a friend to ask, not the lady at the local There's only one at the rebel. It's not an appropriate question. It's rude and it's mean. And then one guy told her when she went, she won't go in there anymore. She won't go in there anymore. One guy, she gets bullied. Might not even be there anymore. She's probably not. I mean, I I think the turnover at the rebel is probably pretty. uh, Probably pretty high. Yeah. A guy told her because Brooke has fake eyelashes. She goes and has eyelash extensions. They're very beautiful. He told her. He goes. You don't need those lash extensions. Oh, that's right. She and she's get, like, what? She gets bullied there. She's like, she I didn't even ask you. She a little bit. Like, well, I didn't even ask you. They're really strange up there. But anyway, I got really, stuff like that really, really, really aggravates me. Inconsiderate people suck. Can you be part of the, pre- can you be present? I am. You're I'm in looking, your phone. I'm looking up these rebels. Oh, my God. There's no more rebels. There are. They're marathons. No, they're rebel. No, There's sir. a rebel at Elk River Road in Clendenin. There's a rebel in Parkersburg, West Virginia. Mm. Rebel, rebel convenience stores. Okay, fine, fine, fine. There's more than There's one. multiple rebels. Okay, I apologize. And some of them are really cool. Like, we got the worst one, it looks wow. like. I apologize. Yeah, but I nonetheless, would. it's a weird place. But stuff like that really aggravates me. Stuff like that really aggravates you? Yes. I get it. It should. Am I wrong? I, mean, I would have been very rattled. I know you would have. I, I thought you would be on my Those side. kind of things really, really eat at me. I don't get I, Big things, not so much. But idiot adults cutting line or doing stupid stuff like their right. children bothers me right. and i'd already stood there for two people and the one guy was taking forever oh and here's okay okay let me tell you the rest of the story it's like my afternoon was just full of irritation right so on my way back oh no so i decided i was going to go to one stop because i really wanted that coke with ice right. but i know one stop has plastic cups and it makes me a little angry because i really wanted the styrofoam cups but whatever People are probably saying, why don't you just buy your own styrofoam cups, which is a great idea. It's a pretty good idea. We can go to Sam's and get a bunch. So I go to the one stop, which is right down the road. And I can find these slow cars, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Well, I go into the one stop and the guy in front of me is elderly and he's buying his stuff. He bought his stuff. Right. Transaction was over. He continues to have a conversation with the cashier about I don't even know what. And she was entertaining the conversation. You could tell she wasn't trying to be like, oh, okay, have a good day. Because like she saw a line, a line was forming. She didn't care. She had to be there. A line was forming. And um, I was so irritated. So I, I didn't know if she could see me because he was a larger man. So I kind of went around to the right. So she, oh, there's a line. I didn't see it. You know, I should hurry up. No. She's like, well, how old are you? He's like, I'm 88. She goes, I can't believe you're out here driving around and you're getting around. So They had a whole conversation. A whole conversation. Friends, man. They're There's friends. a line. It's a, it's a, it is a convenience store. It is a, it is a fast in and out. Not for him. Thing. He had nothing it, to do. It's not like a store where you're going to carry a conversation with employees. That like, might have been his whole day. People, I don't care. People went in and out put my stuff down he's like oh i'm sorry miss i'm sorry i didn't say a word to him and i love old people i was in a mood at that point i'm like give me my hook 
Give me my Coke Zero. You're, I mean, you're having a tough one. I did. I just went up there. I put my stuff down, and he left. What a mission. And then by, by the time I paid and I got, he's still walking to his car, which he was slow because he's older, and he just kind of looked at me. And he's like, have a good day. And I didn't even say anything to him. I was so. He didn't speak? No. I was so grumpy at that point. That poor old man. But he's fine. He talks to people at one stop all the time. He's probably still struggling no, with. he's with fine. Being, like totally messing up your afternoon. He's fine. He was just a part of the mess up. Well, I'm glad he could be a part of it. And I could. I mean, it's not the end of the world, obviously. People are like, well, that's the worst. No, I mean, I'm not. It's just, it's just ugh, those things that just. Mm. Things mm. that make you go, hmm. Mm, no. Not things that make you go, hmm. Yes. 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 There you got it. Because just, hmm. It's like, hmm. No, you yeah. got to put some more mm, in there. Yeah. Get down in it. Right. Right. Cool beans. It goes along with the other day. When at our Starbucks, it sounds like I'm complaining, and I'm not. I'm just telling you stories. Back-to-back episodes, man. Well, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm telling stories most of the time. They're good stories. So at our Starbucks, there is an in and an out. I've said this before, I think. There is an there in is and a out. clear, yes. But it's an entrance only and an exit only. It's True. not one of those Starbucks where, you know, the one side is entrance and the other little side. There's two. You can go in or out in the same. No. It is an enter only and an exit only. You usually go out the in and you do not go in the out. So to speak. But people like to go in the out because you can get to the drive through line quicker. It is quicker. I get the temptation. And I have been tempted to do it, but I have never done it. I'm always the victim that gets cut in front of. Because somebody breaks because the rules. Because I went the right way. And then as I'm coming around the corner, I see somebody come in the exit. And it goes through. I want to go up to their window and approach them. Well, what you do if it really bothers you is you pull up behind them in line and you hold your horn down. Well, I, I mean. I mean, you hold it down. You don't let up until you get to the so, window. Oh, that would feel so good. Just completely embarrass them so they can't order. I should. That would be the greatest. That would be the greatest. But I didn't. I just, you know, mm, just, you know, my face was red. I was like, I can't, ooh. You know what? I'm not mad because I got beat. I'm not mad. The, no, I'm just mad because you can't have courtesy and go the way the traffic flow is supposed to go. So anyway, we pull up and I rolled out my window. And because because I saw her face in the side mirror and I thought I knew her. And I was like, oh, gosh. And she rolled on the window because I want to hear her name because I was asked for her name. And this is funny because they say, can we have a name for your order? And she says, Angie. And I was like, I don't know her. I thought it was hilarious. I was like, oh, wow. So she orders. She get, she said, I'm here to pick. Oh, first of all, she's here to pick up a mobile order through the drive through Yeah, you park and go get you this. Can, that's what I thought. I didn't even know you could go through the drive through to pick up Maybe a mobile order. Maybe she's a gold member or something. Like she had already paid and everything. So her being in front of me wasn't a big deal because it was very quick. Right. But I thought you always like parked and you ran in real quick. Not not Angie. No, not her. Hmm. Anyway, so Angie pulls up and they and I ordered mine, whatever. We're, and she's at the window and they said, Angie. And she said, yeah. And they gave her her drink and she drove off. So I pull up and the girl goes, oh, my gosh, she forgot two of her drinks. And they go, what do you mean? that She was like that Angie that pulled away. She left two of her drinks. She only took one. And they were like, oh, no. And I just start laughing. I thought it was hilarious. And the lady goes, what? what and I said my name's Angie too and she goes two Angie's back to back she said we never get the same name back to back let alone Angie because it's not that common of a name you know what I mean it's not like a John or like a I don't know John is the first name that came Joe. out Joe or what's a popular girl name like Jennifer Jennifer's not even that popular anymore it's popular it's not that popular anymore it was back in, if, if it were back in our day, and even Angie would have been popular, but like present day, I don't think Jennifer's Maddie. a Maddie. Maybe a Maddie. Michaela. Michaela. Kiara. Kiara. Uh, Chloe. Like something like that, but not an Angie. Ariel. And she was like, oh, thank goodness. So these are your two drinks. I said, yes. Nice. Anyway, that's my story. Looked like that worked out for everybody. It worked out for everybody. It was fine. But yeah, I just don't like, I don't, just go in the entrance, people. The thing is, is nobody's enforcing it, so it might as well be an entrance and exit. Well, one day I was going out the exit and somebody was trying to come in. I didn't let them in. You blocked it? Yep. I sat there. We had a standoff. I sat there. Nice. And I kept pointing around, pointing around. He, We were having a standoff. I was not moving. Not moving. 
Wow. I didn't. And he finally gave up and like sped around. I was like, sorry, Charlie. Because he was like letting me out. He was like motioning me like, come on, you can go ahead. Nope. No. Nope. You weren't going to let him in. No. You're not no. cheating the system. He's not going to beat the system. I know there are people laughing like I would totally go in the out <laughs> because if it's faster and there, if there's nobody there. like 80% I mean, I get it. do. No, I get it. I get the temptation, especially if no one else is there. But how do you right. know that somebody didn't go in the entrance it isn't little old me coming around the corner? And I know people saying, you, you lost. I mean, you lose. Just, you know, I get it. I do. I understand why people do it. It's the people that play by the I, rules. I've never seen anybody lose. do it when there's a line. Like nobody thinks they're going to cut in line. No, I did. Rebels. I did. What? I have. No. I saw an old lady pull in there and just sit. Mm-mm. At the one at Southridge, and I've yeah, seen that happen downtown. I was in the back. I was wrapped around the building. Heck no. And I was sitting before did you. Did somebody get around. let her in? No. Oh, good. I'd be so mad at that person. It's principle. It's principle. It's not because, oh my gosh, I got to wait three more minutes. It's principle. No. It's entitlement. Why do you think you're entitled to do stuff like that? It's a great question. Like the only time I think you should I don't, be able to I cut don't, line. I don't, I don't, it doesn't bother as much people that just shoot in there if there's nobody there. But somebody that thinks that they're going to just cut people. Yeah. It still bothers me. But Right. I I think there's only, there's only a few, I think, situations where cutting line is appropriate. Okay. So like... If you're in a bathroom and somebody comes in with a kid or somebody's clearly sick or somebody just asked me, I really, re- of course, I'm going to let them go. I'm not going to be like, no, you know what I mean? Right. Of course, especially a child or if an elderly person came in and like needed to get, I get it. Like a bathroom situation. Yeah. I mean, okay. And There's we, circumstances. Well, we've had this conversation before about the handicap bathroom. We won't go down that line. Like if, if, can you use the handicap bathroom? But whatever. I think that cutting line in that situation, I always let kids go first. If I'm the next in line and a kid comes in or somebody with a baby, I'm like, does she need to go ahead? Because, you know, she could just be, you know, learning how to use a bathroom. Right. Or maybe there's yeah. an emergency. Yeah. Um, what other time is it okay to cut line? Oh, I know. If you're at a grocery store and you have a cart full of groceries and the person behind you has like two or three things, I think common courtesy is like, go ahead and go in front of me. Agreed. I mean, that's common courtesy. Yeah, Don't today I was in line forever at Kroger because people freaking take. There were so many carts with like twenty plus items. In the self checkout. Yes. Oh gosh. And Don't then there was started. a there was a lady that only had a few items, but she couldn't get checked out because she kept messing it up, and the person had to keep coming over and fix. Oh, and boy. then she'd get all the way back over there, and the lady be like, "Step back." She had a mask on, of course. She'd step back and be like, "I don't know what I did." And it's like, if you if you have a problem working these systems, get in line, right? And let somebody that knows how to do it do it, right? Instead of taking forever, you well, know. And I had two carts in front of me, and you know what I had? I had wine, mm-hmm. and I had tea. Mm-hmm. That's it. And lactate. No, I got the lactate. No, I didn't have a lactate. Never mind, that was I had those items. See, they should have let you go on, and I definitely would have, because that's just common courtesy. I'm not looking for a handout, but I'm thinking it sure would be nice if these people would see that it's going to take me literally, it took me 30 seconds. The thing that took the longest is for the lady to come and put my my birth date in. Yeah. That's what took the longest, because you just zip, zip, pay, yeah. you're gone. Yeah. Well, but these they, people were like freaking taking their stuff and slowly looking at it and scanning it and placing it like a little baby in a bag and then doing the next thing. And I'm like, scan the crap and get it in the freaking bag and get out of here. Well, and maybe maybe the lady that came in the gas station thought that's what she was doing. Like, I don't ha- I, all I have to do is give her this money for gas. I'm just going to get. But nobody invited you. Right. So if I have two items and somebody in front of me, I can't assume that because I only have two items that the person who has a cart full, I can't assume you're going to let me go and just get in front. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Like whatever. Like I don't understand people. Whatever. Whatever. Um, It's entitlement. And I think that a lot of times that I find when situations happen like that, because a lot of people think that, you know, the younger kids have entitlement issues and I think that they do. A lot of times it's the older people in those situations. It's old elderly people that think they can just do what they want. And I love old people. Don't get me wrong. Sure. But am I right? No, more, most, more times than not, when situations like that happen, 
just like today, that old man thinking he can just tell his life story and nobody else has any place else to go. Like, dude, I have places to go today. You may not. Step aside, continue your conversation when there's not a line. That's cool if you want to talk to the lady at the one stop. I right. get it. I've worked in retail. He might have been get, they, trying to get some action. People love to talk. No, I think people are lonely. And they go out and they go shopping. And they run across these people and these people will talk. It happened to me in GNC all the time. That's cool. But let me help this customer first. And then we can continue our and conversation that, that's what about the cash your reg- bunions. The cashier should have done. She should have done. She'd be like, hold on, sir. And like, but I had to force my way in. But whatever, whatever, whatever. I love people. I, 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 I try to be patient every day. Um, my coworker told me today that I, not today, the uh, Friday, that I had more patience than anybody she's ever seen. Really? Yes. Huh. Because I had to deal with the lady on the phone. I do have patience, but it doesn't mean, I have outward patience, but it doesn't mean it's not eating me alive and I'm not going to vent about it on the podcast. Thank right. you all for letting me vent. That's all there I'm doing is venting. Just getting it you out. You know, you just got to get it out. Clearing Y'all are the my air. therapist. Yes. You're my therapist. Um, all of that happened after I fell up the steps. I got to see if I have a bruise. At the gym today. I fell up the steps. So I got, my whole shin hurts right here. Yeah, that'll happen. Um, I, you know, we, I joined a new gym. I think I talked about it already. Did I? I That's a no whole other podcast about how, how I have so backtracked in my fitness journey. But whatever. Same I, um, I know, but it's more shocking that I have. Yeah. It's just, anyway, and that's in a whole other podcast. But I, so I joined a new gym downtown so I'd have more time to work out. So it's like two minutes from my office or whatever. So I went to work out today. Today's day two in the gym and it was leg day. And the way this gym set up is the first floor has free weights, heavy lifting, blah, blah, blah. The third floor has like cardio and like the machines. Okay. The second right. floor is like something you can't go in. I don't know what this office is or something, which is weird, but whatever. So first and third floor. So I do most of my leg day downstairs. So I'd already done squats. I'd already done lunges. I'd already done glute raises. I'd already done RDLs downstairs. So my legs are already pretty. Uh. So of course I'm going to take the steps because A, you're in a gym. If you take the elevator, what's, what is the point? Unless you're injured. Right. Right. And B, I don't like elevators. I got in that elevator the first time I signed up for because I couldn't find the steps, which were right across from the elevator, coincidentally. Hmm. But nonetheless, that elevator was jacked. I'll never get in it again. Really? Yeah. So anyway, I'm taking the steps and I get ready to go up the steps. And for some reason, my vision, like the steps, the step seemed higher <laughs> than it actually was. And I tripped halfway up the stairwell and um nobody else was in there but i know there's cameras because i immediately look for them and there are um and i chipped a nail because i caught myself with my hand i chipped a nail there it is and i think my shin might my shin is sore my right shin it was because i you probably get a little bruise caught myself on my right side. right yeah i'll probably get a little bruise or maybe a, a contusion maybe a contusion maybe contusion yes um i laughed at myself and then i told on myself because after I finished my leg day upstairs with just the machines, just the machines, uh, which they're nice machines, they count for you. Oh, I've did you seen see those. that on my story? I thought I put it on my story. Yeah, yeah, that, I told you about that at the at the at the uh, yeah at the Planet Fitness the Planet Fitness in Tays Valley. Valley. It's the same thing. You don't yeah. have to even count. And anymore. there's a timer on there. Yeah. So if you want to do time under tension and you don't care how many reps it is, you just want to keep doing it for thirty seconds right. or whatever it is, it's right there for you. Did and it? Did it, it and have it, the in between time yes, or two? It, Yes. It, Where it was like you could set it to like 30 seconds in between right, reps or whatever. Rep, right. Yeah. So I loved that. It was really cool. I don't know why. I know I can count, but sometimes I like want to be on my phone while I'm just doing leg extensions and I want to scroll on my phone because I hate leg extensions, but I then I lose count. Nonetheless, what's my point? Oh, so then I'm leaving and I'm going back down the steps and there's an older lady that comes behind me and I was holding on this time. And she said, she goes, yep, you always got to take the steps. There's no reason to take an elevator if you're eight. She was my philosophy. I was like, I like you. I was like, I know. I was like, but you got to be careful on these. I, and I tell on myself, I said, I fell up the steps a minute ago. And she starts, she goes, girl, she started laughing. She goes, you did. I said, yes. I said, I did leg day. She goes, I can tell you do leg day. I don't know what that meant. I was like, girl, are you hitting on me? She said, I can tell you do leg day. And I said, I do. And I went a little bit too hard, I guess. And my legs wouldn't work. And I fell up the steps. And she, she cracked up. She said, that made my day. I was like, well, I'm glad I made your day. Me and my clumsiness. I always fall. I hardly, I'm going to jinx myself. I hardly, nope. I fall up the steps a lot. It's best to fall up the steps. It's best to fall up the steps. You have more control. Yes. I feel like you're you're injured less. It's going to be very quick. 
stoppage. Right. You're going to, you're, you, you, the, the fall isn't as far because you're falling into something right. that's already halfway there. Well, and you're falling forward. That's my point. Yeah. yeah. You're like into something that's not that far away. Fall down the steps. You got a good uh, ways. Yeah. I mean, you could hit your head. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. Or like break your back. I mean, yeah. Like, you I'd could hurt her. yourself pretty bad. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so that that was my day. <laughs> well, it's an interesting day. I mean, obviously, it wasn't bad. It's a full it was day. Just, it was just you know some things got under my skin today, but it's all good. I feel better talking about it. I'm glad. You, I'm glad we got that out. Yeah, I was over it by the time I got home. Well, no, that's not true. But pretty quick after I got home, after I got my Coke Zero down, get that Coke Zero down, then get the day finished up. Right. So get to the happy juice. Which is right around the corner. Get a little podcast in. Yeah, it's been good. Still got to start good. a new format. That's coming up. So be Probably ready. next week. I think yeah, we should get I that. We so need too. to write it out. Of, I got a lot of research. I still got to do stuff like that. Just so. got to set the, 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 the schedule, do, do the format. We're we need excited to about it. A, I think it'll be good. With an intro, make this thing a little more professional. Mm-hmm. I don't really. I'm not trying to. You know. And go from there. Okay. All right. It's been real. All right. Have a good evening. This was fun. Deep breaths. I feel so much better. Good night.